And here's a video um, showing my latest little build project and what I made. Well, you can probably tell right off the bat what it is, but I made a five gallon uh, copper still. And um, actually, got this was from a kit from a Claw Hammer uh, Supply. And what they do is they ship out, you know, the flat uh, copper sheets, the rivets, and then on the Claw Hammer Supply website, they have great build videos. But uh, I've been doing homebrew for a while and figured, well, I want to give this a try. But here it is. Um, one thing that I did add that wasn't part of the kit. I added a uh, thermometer on the top and then here on the bottom. And uh, this bottom one is for your mash temperature. Top one is for your uh, vapor temperature because alcohol, you know, starts uh, vaporizing at about, uh, I think about 174. So the two the two thermometers, eh, it's a little bit overkill, but I love data and gauges, so I put those on. And um, the kit was really nice. Um, everything went together real smooth. Um, I mean, I've done a lot of soldering with you know electronics and things like that, but never tried soldering anything like this. Uh, and from a total newbie, uh, you know, went together really good. Uh, and you can see, okay, and here up here is your condenser. You have your cold water goes in here, comes out here. This right here runs straight through. And I still need to um, uh, put on my last uh, drip tube down there. I need to cut that to length, but I'm going to wait till I get my hot plate so I know what uh, length to cut that at. And so your vapors come up here. And then you have cold water coming in, which is a jacket around the vapor tube. So this will cool it down and condense alcohol back to a liquid and then drip out. Uh, and you can see this comes off here. And there's the inside. And then when you're getting ready to uh, distill, you put your flour paste and you just, you know, mash that all into here. And then as soon as the still starts to warm up, that kind of bakes in and gives you a good sill on that. And that's about it. Um, and uh, these kits, if you go to just clawhammersupply.com, this one here is the five gallon. They have a one gallon kit and the 10 gallon kit. Um, it went really smooth. All you need is, you know, just a, a simple, um, torch I'm grabbing right here and what I used just a simple torch you can get in any hardware store with map gas um, then just get your lead free um, solder and some flux and then the rest of it's really pretty common tools the only part that did need something um, that I didn't have right off hand was when you're hammering this piece here if you had an anvil or something to hammer those rivets, and I can't, I'm doing this with my iPhone, but you can see that you need to get something inside of there so that you can then hammer your rivets down flat. That was the only part that um, I found something that worked out good. Uh, and if you're looking at getting a home still, I mean, honestly, I don't think anyone's going to care if you're going to make five gallon. You know, figure if you make five gallons of mash, it's going to be right about one gallon of alcohol when you're done. Um, you know, this isn't like you're making production to sell. It's going to take you a while to 